Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm Millie. From Official London Theatre. And this is your West End Roundup. Coming up this episode, we chat to the cast and team behind Touching the Void. The show's run outs for this year's New Year's sale. And more. But first, hot, hot and fresh, fresh news. news. We got a lovely treat this week as the Prince of Egypt gave us a first look of their costume designs. The costumes are designed by Tony Award winning Anne Hold Ward and they look pretty fancy. I think my favourite costume is definitely Nefertari. I love the like fan effect and the netting. It's quite like... It's still got a, like, a little nod to Disney, I feel, but it's very like... Quite modern. Modern, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Who's your favourite? Yeah. I like Moses, actually. I think Classic. they're yeah, they're all very cool. I think they've just yeah. really given them a little bit of a cool twist. Mm-hmm. And they all look very strong and muscly, and that's yeah. what you need when so you're you a prince. prince. <laughs> <laughs> we have got two months to wait until the Prince of Egypt comes along, so not too long yet. You can get your tickets from Official London Theatre. The New Year sale is back. You can get into London Theatre with tickets for £10, £20, £30 or £40. Some of the best shows in the West End. You lucky thing. There's a whole variety of shows on sale. You can see classics like The Lion King or Wicked. Some newer ones like Waitress. And Juliet, Touching the Void, Oi Frog and Friends, Midsummer Night's Dream. The Play That Goes Wrong. I think there's like a whole host of shows for everyone. So yeah, whatever you fancy, we've got it. Make sure you check out our articles on our website as well because we have some great articles about shows for kids, um, alternative Christmas shows that are all in our New Year's sale so you can find the right show for you. General Booking goes on sale next Friday the 13th and you can get tickets for performances between the 1st of January and February 13th. So make sure you hurry up because tickets will be going fast. This week we chatted to the cast and team of Touching the Void which has come to the Duke of York's Theatre and fun fact... I was a big fan of the film. And I'd never seen the film before. The play is based on a real-life survival story about Mantineers, so it's actually really interesting to see how they then portray that on the stage. Um, But we recently chatted to the director, Tom Morris, and we also spoke to Simon Yates, who is one of the people that the play is actually based on, who went through the real-life event. And, of course, we spoke to the cast, Fiona, Patrick, Josh and Angus. Let's take a look. So the show's called Touching the Void, here at the Duke of York's Theatre um, and it's the story of two mountaineers, uh, Simon Yates and Joe Simpson, uh, who we play, uh, who in 1985 went to scale the unclimbed west face of a mountain called Suda Grande in, uh, in Peru. Um, on the descent, they summited fine, then on the descent uh, Joe fell, broke his leg, uh, at which point Simon concocted this heroic rescue um, attempt and basically tried to lower Joe off the mountain in conditions which dictate that you should probably not try and do play, that. I play Sarah, who is Joe's sister. She doesn't appear in the book or um, the film, however, there's a moment in the book where Joe talks about a voice in his head, so David Gregg, the writer, decided to turn that into Sarah, who he had a very close relationship with. Um, yeah. I play uh, a guy called Richard, who was at base camp with the guys who minded their tents in Peru. And David's David's fleshed the character out somewhat. I'm an um, I'm an aspirational writer myself in the play, and somewhat of a romantic who is living vicariously through these two boys. The show, well, obviously it's based on a story that I was involved in that occurred in Peru back in 1985. Um, uh, a mountaineering epic, basically, uh, which is, I suppose, when when the general public get to hear about mountaineers, it's usually when things go wrong, isn't it? So um, things go wrong and then things continue to go wrong and, uh, and snowball into this sort of huge mountain epic. It's very hard for the actors. I mean, you know, they, they have to be as fit as climbers in order to tell the story. Um, and they do, and, and also we took them up, we took them on uh, Clifton Gorge in, in Bristol. We, you know, so that Joe, so that Josh Williams is playing Joe, could experience what it would be like to, to be falling, so that they've you know they've got all of that. So it's very very physical. So I only joined for uh, this transfer. Um, so we had three weeks in Bristol rehearsing, and yeah, like I say, I came into it from a fairly intense climbing, bouldering background, which really helped with catching up with Josh, especially on um, the set um, and the kind of climbing bits and pieces. But was 
yeah, a lot of time in the gym, kind of standard boring gym yeah. stuff, staying in shape, staying strong, um, more to prevent injury than anything else because you're doing it over and over and over again. Very, it is very technical. It's been, it's a whole new world of learning about ketones and carabiners. Um, uh, and I think, yeah, physically it's been, a, not so much for us, I would say, but for, for the other two, it's been, it's kind of, yeah, huge. Um, but then coming back to it, we had this kind of six month break when, when we finished in March and we, before coming to starting here, and I've, I've just been very much working on the right muscles in my body to make sure that it's sustainable because doing this show eight shows a week is, is just, uh, yeah, full on. And, you know, talking to professional kind of physios and osteopaths and things, they're just saying, you need to treat your body like an athlete, like you are an athlete. <laughs> you learn, you learn an awful lot uh, from an experience like that. I suppose it's rather, it's a rather brutal way to learn things, but, but I did learn a lot uh, uh, from that particular experience. You can catch Touching the Void at the Duke of York's Theatre until the 29th of Feb, and of course, you can get your tickets at Official London Theatre. That's all we've got time for this week. For more exclusives, news, and interviews, make sure you subscribe to Official London Theatre. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. We'll see you next time. Bye.